Doctor, can you explain what uh, capsaicinoids are and, and what's the difference between that and capsaicin, which I think people are somewhat familiar with? Sure. Well, capsaicinoids would be a, a general broad class. It's the naturally occurring pungent principle within red hot pepper. Okay. Capsaicin, on the other hand, is one specific component of the capsaicinoid class, and it's really the prime component. You also have a, a dihydrocapsaicin, a nordihydrocapsaicin, and others, but capsaicinoids is the general broad class. Again, the, the, the hot component, the heat component within red hot pepper, capsaicin is the chief active principle among the capsaicinoids. Okay. And I think if you look at, for example, the Scoval mm -hmm. uh, heat rating scale, capsaicin is actually rated at approximately 15 million, which is obviously incredibly high and not something that most individuals would want to consume uh, in, mm -hmm. high, in high quantities. Mm -hmm. So is it just the one type of pepper? I mean, we can get heat from a variety of sources, so it's not necessarily just the heat that we that are the capsaicinoids? Yeah, the, the, the pepper itself, uh, the peppers, I should say, are rated, you know, based on this scale that was right. developed, I think, back in the early 1900s by a, an American pharmacist. Um, but that particular scale will have individuals, generally five tasters, evaluate various extracts of the, of the pepper. And some of these peppers are relatively low. For example, a green bell pepper would mm -hmm. have essentially a rating of zero. There's no heat that's gained from that pepper. Whereas some of the chilies, you may be looking at values in the couple hundred thousand. And then when you look at the specific extract from some of the extremely hot um, peppers, we're looking at values in, into the millions. Mm. So capsaicin would be the highest, and that would be, again, somewhere in the neighborhood of around 15 million.